Hi, everyone. So in this video, you will um, get a brief walkthrough of the kinds of motions you are likely to encounter at Netherlands WSDC with members of the Agile Corps. So as to start off, policy debates, oftentimes you will see these motions um, starting with this house would or abbreviated to THW. There are a couple of things that you need to remember about these motions. Um, the motion assumes that proposition teams have the power to implement the policy they detail and that this would pass in parliament. While proposition teams can assume the motion will pass, they cannot control how people will react to the policy, nor can they assume that everyone will comply with the proposed policy. Opposition teams would be legitimate, therefore, to challenge the efficacy of the policy or the likelihood that it is going to elicit their kind of reaction proposition teams claim it will. However, the opposition teams cannot challenge uh, whether or not this motion will pass in parliament in the first place. Proposition teams can propose a model illustrating how they want their policy to be implemented, although having a model is not a necessary condition for proposition teams to be able to win a debate. Oftentimes, if your substantive arguments are relevant, if your responses to your opponents are good, you can still win the debate even without necessarily specifying a model. The policy can be as detailed or as vague as proposition teams deem necessary for the debate to be functional. While many teams can go into great detail about specifications of the model, they should keep in mind that taking too long on modeling comes with an opportunity cost. The more time spent modeling, the less time teams actually have to advance substantive arguments in favor of why their policy is legitimate or urgent. Uh, thus, this might affect how persuasive they are to the judging panel. Opposition teams have equal fiat in the debate and have the ability to propose a counter model, although it is not necessary for them to do so in order to be able to win. Um, what this means is that the opposition can claim they can utilize the same amount of resources or power for their proposal. But if they require more resources or power than the proposition, they must explain or prove why um, uh, the outcomes they imagine are quite likely. When the opposition chooses to set up a counter model, the debate becomes a comparative between the proposition model and the opposition model. Here's a work example. Um, this house would institute quotas for men in university departments where, where they are underrepresented, including in veterinary sciences, psychology, education, and teaching, etc. Um, so just to very basically cover uh, the do's and don'ts of this, it is legitimate for a proposition to assume that the motion will pass parliament. It's also legitimate for a proposition to propose a model to illustrate how they would like this policy to be implemented. Proposition might say that they will institute a 50-50 quota for men and women in such university departments. The opposition cannot claim that parliament would never implement a 50-50 quota for men and women, given uh, this is well within the proposition's we add. Um, second, what can proposition not fiat? Proposition cannot fiat that this would deconstruct gender stereotypes about women only being fit for certain professions and uh, lead to less men being afraid to take on these professions. They will need to prove why their claims are likely. Opposition can in turn challenge these claims and prove why the reaction this will elicit from men in quite unclear given a lot of these stereotypes are deeply entrenched in people since childhood so it's unclear why gender stereotypes surrounding these professions would disappear and why most men would suddenly start viewing these uh, professions favorably the proposition cannot also fiat that a larger portion of these quotas for men are likely to be reserved for those under the poverty line without proving why this is a reasonable restriction of the motion because it applies to a very specific subset of people. So when you're trying to narrow down the motion um, in that manner, either because of strategic reasons or because you believe that this is where the debate is likely to be most impactful, you should probably offer reasons for why you think this is a legitimate restriction. 
last thing is in terms of the proposition counter model, it can range from like saying that they're, they're going to be creating changes in how the curriculum is taught at school to providing professional incentives for men uh, who take up these professions, including but not limited to tax breaks and health care benefits. Or they can also commit to a combination of these things if they want to. The comparative would then be the model proposed by the proposition versus the um, counter model forwarded by the opposition in question. The opposition can claim that they have equal uh, resources and political capital to implement their policy, but not why it's likely that this helps solve a problem identified in the debate. They must prove that through likelihood analysis. So here's a cool debate to watch, and it's from Macau WSDC semifinals between Canada and Singapore. Um, and the motion read, this house would nationalize the research, development, and distribution of pharmaceuticals with an asterisk to sort of give you an understanding what nationalize means. Um, we would first suggest that you think about proposition and opposition arguments for this debate, think about how you would set up a model or a counter model, and then go and watch that video for um reference. There's a special subset of um, policy motions, which we shall briefly cover in this video as well. And they are oftentimes phrased as, this house believes uh, the X should uh, do Y. Um, just as an example, this house believes that the West should look to establish diplomatic relationships with the Taliban government. Firstly, this motion requires some reasonable policy from the proposition's end with regards to what degree they're willing to restore diplomatic relationships and what would um, uh, the, the um, relationship then look like, what are perhaps the ways in which you are likely to um, try to establish this relationship as something that you would need to detail within the model itself. As in any other debate, proposition motions clear up uh, what problem they wish to resolve or what goal they wish to achieve through the restoration of diplomatic relationships. The second thing is opposition can either support not restoring diplomatic relationships, arguing instead why they believe that this problem or goal is less important than some other problem or goal that they've identified, or they can provide a counter model detailing why their proposal is likely to address the problem identified by the proposition, but likely in a manner that is uh, better. So again, um, there is a video that we would recommend for you to go and look up. Of course, first, um, think about both sides of the motion. Think about what specific things you would sort of try to detail within the model and what things you'd rather just leave vague and up to the debate. Uh, and the motion read, in times of economic crises, this has believes the government should withhold information that's likely to damage market confidence. Um, this was from Macau WCC 2021, partial double optos um, with Mexico and Australia. Hope this was helpful. Um, and of course, if you have questions, feel free to shoot us a message.